Um, let's do a painting today by Monet. Will be of citrus lemons with a blue book. So um, we're gonna use very few brushes. My canvas size that I um, sketched a little rectangle inside is five by seven just because it's nicely frameable. You can put a board around and make it really cool. Um, and what brushes I'm going to use, and I just did a short tutorial on brushes. If you wanna check that one out, Facebook, Damson Books, and you can look it up. Um, I'm probably going to use, this is a long, um, long handle brush, so. We're going to do uh, fast brush strokes. The background is very light. Um, we have the bright, bright book, the bright lemons, and then a very muted, very uh, calm background. So I'm going to use my angle brush. This is, let's put glasses on and I can see what the heck am I doing. This is a half an inch. Um, half an inch angle brush. That's how you can measure it if you don't see what is on it. So I'm gonna just start with the background and we wanna leave tons of brush strokes. I uh, painted a little bit earlier a fast tutorial on, um, on a plum. So I'm gonna use some of the colors that I have already created for that, which is the purple a little bit with, uh, with the brown, which I now post all the colors I'm using on the description below. And I'm just not over mixing it. I'm loading my brush, but it's not over mixing. And I am going to try to create brush strokes. Now this is a little bit darker than his. So I'm going to go back in with lighter. And also I see presence of more bluish and greenish. So I'm going to go back in. I'm still dark. I'm going to lighten it. And the brush strokes are just filling in, going in different directions. Now here is a interesting part. Um, there is still shadows. Now, if we have done Van Gogh paintings, you're going to know that most of his later paintings don't have the shadows in them. But Monet, here is a impressionistic modern painting still keeping the shadows there and also this book here if, if we read it it says monet on it so that's kind of cool made me laugh so i'm going to fill this in and i want to leave those brush strokes present so there is a little bit of the blue i'm just going to brush a little bit of that blue, take a little bit of the white brush over. So I'm piling up my paint, piling it, making sure I'm not too dark because I went a little bit too dark, but that's okay. So it's a dry brush. I'm using a dry brush. What does that mean? It means I'm not using water too much with it or actually at all. So it's giving really nice brush strokes. All the bristles are kind of hard because there's no water. So the paint is much more difficult to put on the canvas than if we have um, water in it. But it gives you this beautiful brush stroke. So the book is ending here, and I'm going to get a little bit of purple and blue on my, and I created this darker, shadowy element. Now I went a little too dark, but no worries. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of the white. And then this one, also I'm gonna give that shadow. Obviously the light is coming from this direction. And this one has 
a shadow too. So I'm gonna give that shadow to that lemon. I'm giving those shadows before even I painted my subjects. That's totally okay. Just slightly watering my brush because I wanted to clean it plus make it a little bit wet. More brush strokes, which the, the darker background that I created, actually it's giving a nice effect there, so it wasn't a mistake. And if it was a mistake, it was a good one. Okay, so this is a fast, chunky background. I'm going to take a little bit, oops, a little bit of the blue and purple, more blue. Wipe it a little bit from my tissue and just apply a little bit of the blue. Okay. away, add a little bit white, I'm trying to break the brush strokes, I don't want them to be having too much of a direction, this one needs to be light right here, so I'm gonna go back with the white, take away some of the shadow, that's how I'm going to fix my shadow. If I have placed too much of a shadow somewhere, I'll go back with the white and take it away. Ah! I think I do need to clean my brush. Alright, coming out of the canvas, that's totally fine because if I am doing something that will be either covered by a matting or I'm going to cut it out. Let's wash the brush. So when I'm washing a brush, I'm putting it all the way on the bottom of a cup and I am just going around, not stabbing the bristles, but going around and cleaning it so I can feel that it's very nicely cleaned up. And in the beginning it feels a little slimier and then um, you can totally tell after a while when your brush is clean. Okay, so this is our... I'm gonna go to a smaller brush um, and we're going to do the lemon. So I'm using, how funny, a lemon yellow and I'm just gonna apply that here and take it all the way and you see how that darker color under my lemony color is not really going away? I'm gonna go white and I'm just gonna take away places where I know it's either paint got into the area that I want to paint and I know my yellow is not going to cover it up so I'm gonna put that down but even if it doesn't it's still okay because if we get doing that impressionistic type of painting. So lemon has a circular um, body. So I am going to move my brush strokes and give it a little bit like a sideways smile just because that will help. But I'm not going to go all the way around. I want to leave brush strokes so I'm getting a little bit of that orangey yellow. Which is a cadmium yellow. And I'm gonna add that on the bottom side. Also right here in this corner. Right here on this side. Tiny bit right here. So do you see how fast we're moving? I'm gonna grab a little bit of white, but I'm gonna dirty it with a tiny bit of yellow. 
And I'm gonna leave a few brush strokes here. And also I can use that white, yellowish white, to fill in the meaty part of the lemon. Because that part is much lighter than the skin. Also mixture between your lemon yellow and your cadmium yellow will be a good skin lemon color. That there's this super super fast painting of a lemon. Love it. He has a darker color on this side, so I'm gonna use a little bit of cadmium, cadmium red, which is kind of like a darker orange red, and I'm going to do that side shadowy side of the lemon with that touch a little bit here and find out the areas that I want to apply this to. Now I'm going to use more of that and go here on this lemon. And do you see how I'm adding everything by brush stroke? Uh, not trying to smooth it out. I'm going to need a little bit of brown with my cadmium yellow and red and add some of that too and he has more shadow okay a little bit of water i want to thin the tip of my brush and add that color right on this lemons on this side and I'm going back and forward and just checking with the um, with one nice painting with the original a uh, little bit of green right here too much so I'm gonna wipe my brush and spread it and also I'm gonna add a little bit of that green right here see where it needs it wash it but still leave a little bit of the green because I can always add and take away so I'm not afraid of a color that it's a little bit too much because later on I'm gonna come back tone it down and it's gonna give me it maybe the perfect color that I need So I love mixing colors. I love creating something that it's very unpredictable in a way. The brush strokes are going downwards and I'm gonna get light brush, I mean uh, white. Um, need to wait until this dries a little bit. Go back to my cadmium red, yellow, brown, a little bit more of yellow cadmium. And go over this green. Tone it down. Go back to purple. Let's add a little brown in the purple. Muddy it a little bit. And add that shadow right here. Okay, same right here. So the most important thing in his paintings is the light and the shadow. Same, I'm gonna do that here. And I'm toning it down. I'm using a little bit of water now. My base is helping me to hold some of the color and whatever I'm putting on top, I can take away with wet, clean brush. So I leave as much as I want to, not more, not less. And you see how now that is starting to look a little bit more and more. The same thing, this needs to be much lighter, so I applied it. And then I'm gonna gently take away. So I'm pushing, pushing around, making things happen. This one is a shadow here. Get some pure 
clean the brush and clean our water. Pure white on the tip and see if it's gonna take here. Nope, too much wetness. I'm gonna try out this one. Dry brush again. So I'm trying to apply a little bit of that meaty part on the lemon with a dry brush and some white. And the white is kind of a little bit transparent, so that helps. Same I'm gonna do right here. And I'm gonna try to wipe a little bit of, there is my light. Go back to yellow. I'm gonna go back in here and get, let's get some cadmium yellow. Let's get a little bit of a brown, darker a little bit, because that little spot right here, it has more shadow that I see. A little bit of the greenish yellow. So the lemon yellow with a little bit of green. And I see it right. that down a little bit push back the color I'm piling it up tons of brush strokes don't be afraid let's get a little bit of the brown a little bit of the tail here almost same up this side Right here, a little bit of almost like a detail, the shadow, and the same right here. Again, on the shadow side. And if something is too much, also my white on this side. It's kind of a bluish white. It has a little bit of imperfections. Dirty, purplish, bluish, maybe part. Same right here. Perfect. Touch out. Why not? This, this side is not as yellow. I'm just gonna go back with the yellow and add it kind of on the ball because the yellow is transparent. But this side, it seems like I can see more through. So I'm gonna add white and brush strokes that are going together with the slice of the lemon. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. Here and I have a lighter spot right here. And pretty much the lemon, I'm gonna leave it alone. So I'm resting from this part, and I'm gonna go to my next part. Um, let's go back to the cadmium level. Of course, I said that, and I'm like, oh, I can touch this here, and I know I see something that I can fix. Okay, so let's leave it for a while. Um, I need to get a little darker there to get it as close as possible to his. So I'm gonna go blue, which I am not happy with this blue. This color is separating. So I'm gonna go back to my Winston Newton and this one is Ultramarine. And I'll just pull it right here. I need very little. So, here is what I'll do I'll take a cleaner brush and take white, 
pull a little bit of the blue and see if it gives me that blue color that he has and it does and if I'm happy with the ultramarine and white that's the blue I'm gonna use and if I'm not I'm gonna try with some other blue but I think we're good to go now I'm going to switch to a uh, smaller angled brush so this is 3 8 and again scoop white and a little bit of ultramarine that's way too much get it a tiny bit mixed not over mixing and trying to cover my surface this side is a little bit darker than what I start painting so I'm gonna go back in add a little water So the top of the book is a little bit darker and then you have a line of a light and then another shadow. It's where the book, you can open the book and bend it. So I'm going to try to create that illusion with shadow and light. So I'm going to get a little lighter. It's going to be lighter blue, and I'm going to give that line right here. Now, see how I'm using the flat brush? It's making a pretty good straight line. This was something that we touched up on the shape and brushes and what I used them for. Going back to a darker one, um, I'd rather use a angled or flat brush to make straight lines than a small, long, skinny brush like this, which is like for details and lines. I will go to the flat or angled brush because I can do it longer, longer lines without refilling. And now this part right here, it's lighter but not as light as the um, light part it's kind of a bit darker than this little edge here which I need to make it better I need to shrink it down okay so white with ultramarine, don't mix it with the red, too much blue, and also I kind of um, sketched his letters here the same way as he did. Cloud Monet. You can put your own name if you like to, or part of your name. I'm still gonna keep it as his, just because. I'm gonna have to wait. There's also a shadow from the lemon. Much darker. It's almost the same color as the top of the book. And I have a light, a line of light. This element here at the side of the book. It's getting a little darker. I touch some areas that I didn't want to touch. Wipe. Push this back. 
give it a little shadow because there is a ribbon coming from here and I'm almost doing it with no paint. I am trying to just plan it before I go in. I'm gonna add a little black to my blue for that first tiny part here. And I'm using the flat brush. I'm using the flat brushes, um, actually dangle brush. I just use the tiny little tip on the one side. Let's get a little bit of white here. And the way that goes down. And then around. It almost seems like it's bleeding in two, but I think the one side is supposed to be a shadow. I'm not 100% sure. So make it more like a transparent bluish color right there. And give it a shadow right here. So my shadow needs a little bit more of a dirtier, dirtier blue, muddier blue. It's not exact match to his, but that's okay. Going back in to my shadow, shadows for my lemons. Just adding that. Go back to my. Let's get. It. strokes leave those brush strokes pleasant this in a circle, grab white, get with my dirty brush, put a white right here, there we go, add some chunks to my lemon, to the midi part, Too wet. of separation for the background so I'm gonna wash my brush so my background it should be white white and I'll flip this around because I'm gonna work on this area I need to make my background a little bit more bluish bluish whitish but barely Give it a wash. Give it more white. So it's gonna be barely blue, but I wanna separate the white, the bluish white and the yellow white because I want that part of the lemon. And I wanna make sure I am not just making a straight line. I wanna make it visible because then it's going to delete my brush strokes that I created earlier. Okay, so 
washing my brush, adding and gently taking away. So now I'm gonna try to add. Pushing my brush down to create this maybe part. Stir this around. It is happening. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back. I'm going to use a little torture device. But what I want is barely, barely giving a shadow to some areas. Now, emphasizing on, again, what am I emphasizing on? The shade, on the shape. So right, too much. Right here. Too much. It's almost like a transparent, dirty, bluish brown. And if it's too much like right here, then I clean my brush and kind of where it's spread it where I want. Okay. Just the tip of the brush. I have to get over with the black. brush is definitely not what he used because you can see nice big brush strokes cadmium yellow red and burn sienna Get a little blue in there too. Yeah. Use the tip of my again my angle brush. It's funny how I go back to this. Seriously slapping it on. Okay. So I'm going to try to use this small brush. A tiny bit of the ultramarine. My brush is loaded. I'll flip 
my canvas this way because for my arm it's going to be easier for me to drag and create that line here also I'm planting my hand it's all dry here so I don't have to worry smudging something and I'll drag my hand and create that and it's funny that the paper is curved a little bit so this is doesn't have to be perfect and actually I'll try to go back and make it unperfect go back with the white and add a little bit of light on the ribbon corner of the book right here also on this side wash it way too perfect of a line so I want to destroy that perfect line I'm gonna go back in here with a little bit of darker brush strokes now I'm gonna try to write his name it's partial So gently, gently sketching it with the brush and then increasing the volume. too wet. I just did an extra line. Look how easy it is for me to clean that up. So I'm going to leave it for now just like this. Um, this. Too much of a line in here. So I'm going to take that away. A bit of a shadow right here. Dab it with my hand. Take away. More shadow. Right on the base of this. Also, he has some orangey reflection on the surface. So I'm going to try to do that orangey reflection, but I'm making the orange color 
with a little bit of cadmium red and cadmium yellow. And I think I'm good with that color and it's not clean because my palette is dirty. So I'm stealing other colors. Then I'm gonna wipe my brush and I'm going to apply that. Reflection. You see how much is it? I'm gonna wash my brush gently. Go over, tone it down a little bit. little bit of the blue reflection under the book which means again I'm going to take on the brush wipe it so it's not clean and do a little bit of that blue reflection on the table too right here and I think we are there I am going to what happens when it's so heavy? I'm going to take napkin, push it over. All right, so there it is, and we are done with this cool money steel art painting. And uh, oh, I forgot one part of the book, can't believe it. We definitely have to have this. There is three lines, almost look like writings, but they're not. And I'm going to get a little lighter blue. And make sure I have that too. There you go. Now it looks better. That's it. Everything is done. I think it's pretty cool. I love it. It's very, very neat. Um, and that's it. For today i hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it please don't forget to subscribe give us thumbs up and if there is anything you want us to do and paint or show you how to do please let us know thanks a lot have a good day